In this short video I just want to explain something that's pretty remarkable most people don't actually understand. So here we are outside, rather nice sunny day compared to yesterday when we had hail and uh, very nasty rain. And so what we're looking at here is a ice digital daytime screen and it's the view that's actually facing, facing the projector. And so as I explained earlier, and we've got an over, a plane going overhead now as well, but the ability to be able to use a projector outdoors, in most people's mind, is pretty much a no-go. Now, there are certainly times when we would say, what you're wanting to achieve, even with one of our screens and a projector, is not the way to go and from a financial point of view in fact one of our other te display technologies may be a better solution for you now we're looking at a pretty dark picture actually so you're not going to see a lot um, and a couple of things i really need to point out to you so first of all you can see the color banding so i've inserted some photographs that will um, give you the view that is more natural to the human eye but the color banding we can't avoid that it's really just a conflict between this particular camera that's recording it which is a flip cam and also the Optima uh, projector color wheel and um, so nothing we can do about that but to the human eye you cannot see those color bandings so you'll have to believe me on that and I've inserted some photographs for your um, view anyway but the interesting thing is that we're outdoors here you could say that falling on the screen is just on, let's say, 2800 lux light. And we can see that on the meter. So as we now come back, we can now start to see the screen in its full entirety. We've still got the colour bars, unfortunately, and we can't do much about that. Um, but you can see the matte white screen that's hanging over the front of the screen and essentially in that area of the screen image we've got nothing that's really useful for any intents and purposes you can make out an image but certainly if you were selling that solution or wanting that solution for yourself you would really be having a hard time explaining to your client uh, why you're selling an image that's really not useful at all for any purposes but we can see here very clearly very sharp um, an excellent view and one of the interesting things now that if we move back further and unfortunately you're going to probably be able to tell this very easily on the because of the color bar disturbance but the screen actually becomes brighter as we move back so we're walking quite some distance now from the screen and I am would still absolutely say that we're getting actually is a slightly brighter image standing back here probably about 15 20 meters and we're getting a view that is absolutely stunning and of course on the matte white screen we can't see anything now the sun is sitting behind us on the uh, top left hand corner the behind the screen is where the sun is sitting at the moment so we haven't got the screen facing into the uh, the sun facing into the screen and that's one of the little uh, aspects you need to be aware of because the screen is actually managing the ambient light relative to your viewing position where your eyes literally are and to where the projector is based and so in this particular uh, scenario you could say we're actually in the best scenario that is the screen is behind us we've got an adequate 5500 lumen projector we've got the screen in the shade which works to our advantage and we've got a matte white screen hanging over the top which actually will show you irrespective of the color bars in fact that you cannot see any useful image on it and in fact the color bars when I think about it actually stop on the matte white screen because the images are so dull and virtually not even existing on the, the matte white screen but on the rest of the screen you can see the image and of course I'm getting some stunning uh, coral reef and ocean Pacific Island type views here and you'll only be getting a little bit of that and the color bars but that's what I wanted to show you that with the right screen the right projector in the right scenario and situation installed correctly you can actually use a projector and a screen outdoors most people in the world believe that's actually technically and physically impossible to do but 
as we are showing people around the world here at Ice AV that in actual fact when you put the right combination of solutions in place understand your environment and what you wanted to achieve remarkable things can actually happen and, and so just one of the little secrets that we are able to help people with worldwide remember you're not always being told the truth when you go and visit a local AV company because maybe they don't even know what the truth is and they're just going to be trying to sell you a extremely bright projector on a very cheap matte white screen so this is Kevin down here in New Zealand contact details at the end of this video more than welcome to give me a call email me and I'm sure we can help you in your next project whether it's projection interactive simulation LED technology we've got all the tools and the product range and the knowledge which is most important to actually help you thanks for stopping by and watching this video and appreciate your time thank you